today I'm going to be doing a tutorial of this look right here and I am going to start with basically a bare face, just my foundation and primer and concealer done and everything. And for foundation I used the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the color NW13. What I love about this look is that while it is a smoky eye and it has those really dark shades, it is based out of browns and blacks and so therefore it's a pretty neutral shade. Also throughout this video there might be some kind of squeaks and clunks because upstairs the neighbors recently moved out and so the building is up there repainting and cleaning everything up and they're making noise the entire time that I'm filming and it's pretty annoying but today was the only day I could do this so anyways if you would like to see how I got to this look then go ahead and keep watching so I've already done my eyebrows how I enjoy doing them everybody does them a little bit differently so I figured I might as well not do that on camera I like to do mine pretty light and just fill them in a little bit. I have also already prepped my eyelids with MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. So I'm going to start by putting this light taupey color all over the lid. And I am going to make sure not to bring this up onto my brow bone because since I am already fair, I don't need anything darkening up that area when all I want to do is lighten it and it's so hard to do because I'm so fair without anything darkening it up already. And having this kind of nudie taupe shade all over the lid makes it easier to blend all of the other shades in later on without having a super obvious color there to kind of change how the look is going to end up. Then I'm going to take the lightest shade in this palette, which is a white, and I'm going to put that on the brow bone. Next up we're going to take this medium to dark cool brown and put that all over the last half to two thirds of the outside of the eye. And remember to build this up slowly because since it is a darker color it's going to have more noticeable fallout and we don't want there to be dark brown all over my cheeks. So just every time you get powder on your brush just tap it off. And this is going to come up a bit into the crease but not as high as that taupey shade that we put on at the beginning. Once both eyes are even, then you're going to go into the black. And you're just going to put that on the outer third of your eye. And don't do this part too dark. Definitely start out very, very slow. Minimal amounts of black because black, since it's so dark, it has a ton of pigment and it immediately like overwhelms the entire look if you do too much. take that white again and put that on the inner corners of your eye, about the inner third. Then you're going to take a clean fluffy blending brush like this Sigma E40 and you're just going to gently, very carefully, starting with the lightest and going to the darkest, blend this look into each other so there aren't these stark lines between the colors because right now it kind of looks like Neapolitan ice cream. So just gently start with the white and the brown and just kind of make them more of an ombre effect rather than lines. And then move on to blending between the black and the brown. And this is where it really gets fun. I am going to take my Model Co Highlighting Trio and I'm going to take the white cream color here. And then using my pinky, I am just going to pop this into the inner corners of my eyes on top of that white. Now 
once that white is in place, I'm going to take my Ofra blush stripes and I'm going to take this white stripe here and I'm going to use my brush and put that on top of the white cream that I just put on. And the reason that I actually put on the white cream was just because I think that this sticks and shows up a little bit better with that on first, but you don't need to do that. You can just use any white or really light colored highlighter that you have and just put that straight onto the inner corners. And then one more time, I'm just going to blend, blend, blend this together. I'm really quickly going to use that same white highlighter, but mix it with a bit of this taupe color and use this as a regular face highlighter. I'm going to put that on the tops of my cheeks, the tip of my nose, down my nose a bit, on my forehead, on my chin as well as a bit on my cupid's bow. I'm also going to add a bit of blush to return some color to my cheeks. And then before I do anything else, I'm going to use my Supergoop Setting Mist and just put that all over my face to set the powder products. Next, I'm going to quickly line my upper lids and I'm not gonna do any wing or anything like that because the eyeshadow sort of speaks for itself. I'm going to put on one layer of mascara because I'm going to put falsies on top of that and I want them to blend in. I'm also going to put a thin layer of mascara on my bottom lashes as well. Then I'm going to quickly use this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Laguna Beach on my lips and that'll be it. So what do you guys think? I love how this turned out. I think it's super pretty. And I love the smokiness and yet using the browns kind of made it, you know, a little bit more wearable for every day and having the nude lip balances out a bit so it's not like BAM eyes, BAM lips, like I'm going to a rave tonight because there's so much makeup on my face. I think it looks, you know, fairly natural still. So I hope you guys really like this look as much as I do. And if you decide to duplicate it, I would love for you to tag me in like Instagram or Twitter or any kind of social media, I will leave those all linked down below so you can go follow me and tag me and I would love to see how your guys' makeup looks. I will have all the products that I used listed down in the description below so you can either go find those yourself or if you want to find similar items that you have in your own collection, you can duplicate it using those. But I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and if you did and want to see more, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to do similar looks to these or just more looks in general. Also go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and hit subscribe so you can follow me and see more looks that I do and all the other types of videos that I do including unboxings and challenges and hauls and everything in between but that is going to be it for me today and so until next time I will see you guys very soon bye three lip products and one other product sometimes you get four lip products that maybe one of them will dual as a cheek product I do have a new camera so pardon me if I keep looking at my viewfinder and basically they have everything you can imagine under the sun so it's sort of like a glorified dollar store so everything's gonna be a little bit higher quality they're gonna have a little bit more variety 